I think the feeling that you get, that reward of people enjoying your food and, and just, you know, being able to provide for others that way is, is something that's not everyone gets to do and I find a great reward in it. I think Marion Hall is part of what makes Seanigan and Seanigan. We all eat our meals here in Marion Hall and I think it's a great opportunity for us to all come together as a family, as a, as a community um, and just enjoy that meal. My name is Dustin Setso. I'm the director of food services here at Seanigan. I'm also the executive chef. I'm born and raised in Vancouver Island. I've traveled around a lot and I keep kind of coming back to the island because um, it's just such a special place to be and the community here at Seanigan Lake is extremely beautiful and um, we're very, very lucky to be able to be here. Uh, you know, food is one of those things that it, you can connect to it in so many different ways. It can be, you know, comforter, it, it can, you know, warm you up, it can, you know, make you happy. Um, it can, you know, it can do so many things just by being food. We, we feed over 500 students daily, uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. We feed just over 200 uh, staff, the same, uh, three meals a day, seven days a week. Our goal is to provide nutrition for our students in their busy daily lives here at Seanigan uh, and also provide great flavors of different types of food that, you know, put a smile on their face. All the food groups are definitely represented here. Um, the variety is, is unbelievable for, you know, wake up and come into a breakfast buffet every day. It's, it's pretty nice, right? So there's usually a hot cereal, hard boiled eggs, hash browns. There'll be either scrambled eggs, fried eggs, um, omelets. Could have eggs Betty going on. Um, there's always fresh fruit available, yogurt, uh, huge cereal bar. Toast, preserves, everything. So we serve breakfast here as a buffet at Marion Hall for our lunch. Uh, it's a little bit more formal for our lunch. We do family style dining in the hall here. So we'll have um, teachers and other academics serving the students um, and then sitting down and enjoying a meal with them. For dinner in Marion Hall, um, it is more of a buffet style. Students come in and serve themselves. Uh, they're allowed to kind of mingle with each other, they can sit with their friends in different houses. It's a time to just relax, de-stress, talk to your friends and just enjoy some really good food. Especially because I play basketball so we have a lot of late dinners. We just come in after sport and it's just a nice warm dinner made of love just there for us and it, I just really appreciate it. We like to serve a, a diverse menu that we do, you know, if we're serving chicken this week, it's going to be different chicken next week and we kind of continue that uh, transition of trying to just meet new foods and give unique opportunities for different flavors. Like the kitchen takes meals from all over the world and incorporates them to our everyday life. So you're getting great food and you're with so many friends and the entire school is together. So it's just like, it really makes Seanigan one big family. My name is Robert Benemer. I'm the daytime kitchen supervisor. My main job is to make sure that we have enough food for all the staff and the students here. I'm also in charge of all the special dietary needs as well. There's 70 to 80 different dietary restrictions at the school. The kitchen's very accommodating to dietary restrictions. Like me personally, I'm allergic to fish. So whenever there's like a salmon burger or something I can't eat, I have a lot of variety of food options. I can make myself a sandwich, I can go to the kitchen, get some pasta, get some chicken. So I'm never really stuck with just one thing to eat. There's a lot of options. Usually when we're dealing with the dietary issues and stuff like that, like that's usually my first conversation is, you know, what do you like to eat? Do you like this? Do you, do you like to try new things? Are you a bit of a picky eater? Do you only like, you know, plain chicken and pasta? Or do you like, you know, different salads and kale and quinoa? And, you know, are you open to trying all those things? Um, and I think that we've done quite well and been super successful by being able to, to offer all these different things. My name's Tracy. I'm the food services manager here at Seanigan Lake School. They get so much choice here and we cater for all their diets and um, yeah. If, if you're going to send your uh, kids to a boarding school, uh, the community here is, is amazing. It, it's a family. The kitchen's the heart of the home. We try and make the kids feel like they're at home. For me, like being able to be that heart and be able to um, offer, you know, ourselves and like I say, my team gives so, so much that they, you know, they see it as a reward for themselves. I think that's how we keep our, 
our food fresh and our, our, our products on mark for what people are looking for. So we're quite a diverse team that we have here, and, um, but by having those uh, you know, other eyes and other hands and other thoughts on things really allows you to you know, really hone in and keep changing and adjusting. It's been such a pleasure being able to have a group of people that have the same goal and um, you know, enjoy food like I do. Our, our kitchen team here, um, we do a lot of other events. It's not just the three meals a day for us, helping with the entrepreneurial class, um, the food truck stuff, and then just some of the, the, the Cooking 360 programs. We've done like steak cooking class. Um, so I had all the students in here and on the grill back there, I cooked all the steaks, showed them all the different methods and you know, talked about different you know, styles of steak. And so, I mean, it's always kind of fun, you know, let the students kind of see the, the intensity and the, the joy and the reward of, of that intensity. Uh, you know, we do things like Ski Week where we take our whole kitchen and feed, you know, five to six hundred people up at, on Manning Park Ski Hill. Um, but then we have our spirit meals, we have our cultural events. The spirit meals were born out of COVID, were just, you know, a little bit more elaborate uh, meals that were, would allow the students to kind of try different foods. So we did a, a really cool uh, Holly one. Um, with the, the powders and like we did it all outside and we had to break it all down and it wasn't you know a, a traditional style you know holiday festival experience but um, I think as a you know a Shawnigan experience for it, it it was you know super well received and let the kids you know let some of the, the steam off and um, that connection then we did a, a great you know, authentic kind of uh, Indian meal here just kind of uh, allowing you know, Sean again to shine as a, as a community, really. We were celebrating a Mexican festivity and the school took on the initiative to help us uh, educate and share just a little bit more about Mexican culture with the school. The kitchen took on the initiative as well of making traditional food, so it was things such as tamales, chiles en nogada, pastel de tres leches, so to think that they're putting on these foods for 500 people just makes me feel, um, it makes me feel more like welcomed and it makes me feel represented. The school experience, the, the students experience is really our focus. Mr. Setso and the kitchen staff really make Shawnigan feel like a home. They make great food and they set up an environment in, we, in which we all can feel included. We're all so excited to always see what, the, what it's on the menu. So I think that's the main thing that makes it feel like a home, that it, they just gave us another opportunity to bond.